Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Atarison, and welcome back to more um, Final Fantasy VI. And uh, today's episode, we are going to recruit Shadow. Try to at least. And also, maybe, possibly, if we get there, get it, uh, we will recruit. Uh, not just not recruit, Shadow's the only one left to recruit. Kill Death Gaze. Anywho. To get Shadow, we need to go in here to get that thing I didn't get when I was here the first time. Hello. Which apparently is the Ichigeki, which is why Shadow was here when we killed the boss. That one time. So, let's see if we can't find it. And hopefully we do, without too much trouble. Of course, Mog is going to be high up in the air most of the time here. Still is a Mog leveled. Um, can we go... No. Yeah, we'll check that chest to the left there. So I don't need to worry about that. We need to find the Ichigeki sword, which is according to Internet, supposed to be in here somewhere, which makes sense, considering this is where we found the uh, shadow that time. So, yeah. Hopefully, we do find it. I have no clue where it might be in here, but uh, it's supposed to be in here somewhere, so... Oh, there goes the mantis again. Um, you haven't learned cure. Let's use your magic for this. How about we go this way? I honestly have no idea where it might be. I'm just looking around. Hopefully we do find it. And uh, hopefully we find it quite easily, but... It's not the end of the world if we don't. I mean, the world has already ended. Okay, this is just a save point. We don't need that. Blunt Race and Thundara, that must be... yes. Carbuncle time, I guess. For Sabin. Yellow. Another one of these. <laughs> Well, at least we get some AP out of this. No, no. Who's this? At least we don't have those uh, life shaver butt faces in here. At least we haven't encountered any of them yet. That's good. Let's see what this does. Absolutely nothing. There it is! Alright, I think we can manage to get Shadow. In less than one full episode in terms of time. So that's good. Right. Now we just need to find our way out. 
and one of these days, um, Celeste will learn Ultima as well, so that's good. No idea just how much she has left <clears throat> to have learned it, but it shouldn't be too far off, because I'm going to get two from each of these, and she had probably plenty from Narche. I'm curious now. Really? One off, really? <clears throat> now well. I'm just gonna learn Ragnarok before I move on. That's probably not the best fight we could have had. Yeah well. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll be fine. Nice block, Edgar. <clears throat> and this is definitely not the fight I would have preferred for that one magic point we needed. Yeah, well. So, this coming from behind. Oh, hey, it's this fight again. <clears throat> We've done this before. No. Oh. Yeah, well. But this is straightforward. For the most part. Come on, Mog. Nice. Well, there we go. Sure, Kyorgo. Anywho. Let's head off. This way. Because this place has a cheap heal, and uh, cheap heal is good. I mean, it's probably cheaper somewhere else, but I don't want to really look for it when I know this is here. It's one gill, one gill is. Nothing, honestly. Alright, and then we go like... Actually, before we do this... In case we encounter death case again and I've managed to die... Let's pop down a save. Now... We go like this because the world is not. Mm, I think this is a building. Yeah. What are you doing here? The only thing I know how to do, I'm fighting! Why don't you come with us? Perhaps I should. Alright. It's time to put my skills to the ultimate test. I wonder what happens if we... God damn it, guy. If we save... Go back in, 
and actually bet the Ichigeki. Now, did we lose the Ichigeki? No, okay, good. How about. Unless we had two of it. A behemoth tooth. Snow scarf. God damn it, that was cheating. Okay, um, how do we. That's one way to do it. <clears throat> okay. Yo, Terra. I need to change up our party members. Now we have everyone, as you can see. And I want Shadow. I want... Mog here. Um, uh, for this, let's have Gao for a second, and, uh, Realm. For the thing we're going to do right now. Okay, let's see Relics. I was just curious how that would end up doing. That's better. My dispatch and... Basically the same. Alright. Oh, and Realm. Alright. Uh, you're not in our party right now, so... Meh, if rate is fine. I should shave up because of the cure. And... oops. Realm? Ramu, sure, that's fine. <clears throat> they don't have sprinting shoes, but that's fine. That wasn't ideal, but okay. Hopefully nobody dies. We have two deaths. Magic, no items. Phoenix down on uh, Shadow. You can just jump. Items, Phoenix down on Gao. Magic. Do you have any white magic at all? No, you don't. So you can just attack. Good tree hit. Okay, we've lost pretty much everyone here. Let's pray. Okay, he fled. Good. <laughs> we got some damage at least. Items, um, right. There we go. Hopefully, we don't encounter him again, especially not with this team. Um, this is not the place. Today, after all, we are going here with Gao. Wow. Tough fella looked like a big lumbering beer. Oh, we need to say bin as well, I guess. Well, crap.
Yes, we need to go. Um, let's do you, you, and Sabin. Since we apparently need. We can't open them here, but we have relics. That's definitely what we want on him. Uh, you know what? Sure, that's probably not a bad thing to have on the jetty. Yo, hello again. It's been a while. Let me tell you, those repairs of yours were top notch. I told you, I'm not. Now hurry up and fix that chair over there. You're gonna need it, so to need to stand on it so we can fix the roof. Don't suppose, Gao, couldn't that man be your father? Come on, Gao, don't you think? The father? Yeah, that guy's gotta be your dad. Gao, dad? Wow, Gao! Alright, let's go tell him. He needs to know you're his son. Wait, wait a minute, this is a once in a lifetime event, we should at least dress you up a bit. Let's go to Jidoro to get you spiffed up. up. No, Gal, how many times do I have to tell you not to eat with your fingers? Wow, don't say oh, wow oh, when you mean sorry. Yow. Do you like these? Wouldn't they look good done him? Oh, but I like those other ones so much too. Everything you like. Boy wouldn't even be able to move. What was that? N nothing, don't say a thing. Phew, that was close. What to do? What to do? Oh, this is nice, but I need something that would look good and gow, don't I? Hmm. Oh, pick something already. What did you say? Nothing. Now, this is a fine and jaunty little hat. Maybe if he were a clown. What was that? If he wore a crown? Ha! We don't want his vote of thinking some kind of prince now, do we? I know just the thing. That's a Kempogi. It's perfect, functional, yet sporty. That's uh, not exactly what I had in mind. But once not an ounce of fascists among the lot of you. Excuse me, sir. Could you order another set of clothes like the ones I'm wearing? Such a no, we're trying to make him look better, not worse. Oh god. <laughs> Poor Gao. Listen, Gao. You're gonna go in there now and show your father what a fine young man you've become. Ow. Excuse me, sir. Who in the blazes are you? Oh, repairman? Sir, you had a son once, don't you? Didn't you? You did, right? A son? Yes, you see, sir. He's alive. Go, speak up. Father! Oh. Huh? What? What's all this business about a son? I don't have a son. But now that you mention it... I once had a terrible dream, a dream in which some kind of demon child was born. I grabbed the thing and rushed off to the world with it. The thing was crying like crazy by the time I got there, but sir... I left the child there, and then I turned around and ran, trying to not look back. I'm trying to tell you. Then, all of a sudden, the crying stopped. I turned around and it was a frightful monster. I've never seen anything like it. Hideous still gives me the shakes when I think about it. I give up. This guy's hopeless. But you, young man, your parents must, must be proud to have such a fine son. I still dream about being chased by that demon child, terrifying those dreams. Why are you old, running your mouth, not even so much as thinking about Gao's feelings? You want me to beat your sense back into you? Wow! Gao always knows what to say. Poor Gao. 
I, I am sorry. Ah, uh, they're alive. Gow. Ha. Uh, B. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. In the meantime, take care, everybody.